Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this channel, we talk about artificial intelligence and related stuff. Today, in this video, we are going to run Llama 2, 13 billion and 7 billion parameter model on the Intel Arc GPU. We will use Llama CPP library and compile it from source using the CL Blast library so that we can run accelerated matrix multiplications and other mathematical operations. Here one thing is to note down that these, this method is not fully optimized for Intel Arc devices so we will not be able to fully utilize the capability of these devices but still this method is really fast and very much usable. I will also provide you the compiled binaries in the description so that you can download and directly run on your system. If you face any issue please comment it here. Compiling the library from source is a tedious and long process so you can skip that part and directly jump to the part where I show you the result on the Intel Arc devices as well as on Intel integrated GPU and the CPU. So let's get started. You need to have CMake tool installed on your system. I don't have it so I am going to install it. Go to the CMake website and download its installer for your system. I have Windows 64-bit so I am going to download 64-bit Windows version of CMake. Double click to install it. Just make sure that you add it to your environment variables and uh, once it is installed log off uh, your system and log in back to take uh, this effect and then I am checking CMake hyphen hyphen version Yes, it is installed now and environment variable also set properly. Now we need to install the CL Blast library and build it. So I'm going to clone its repo. Just do git clone. I'm going to clone it in my downloads folder. Now go to this uh, repository CL Blast and make another directory inside it called build do cd build and then run the cmake command and we got an error actually cl blast library requires opencl so we need to provide opencl path while building it i have already installed opencl because i have installed a one api at it comes with it if you don't have it you can install separately and i am going to the opencl library here it is copying path to notepad so that I can build the command properly on the notepad and then paste. I also need opencl.lib libraries path. So I'm searching for opencl. Now I got opencl library, copy its path and, and paste this opencl lib path also on the notepad. Now we will build the command to compile CL Blast library. So uh, just copy those uh, variables and make sure that you put hyphen D uh, before uh, OpenCL variables. And uh, this, is how, this is how the CMake works. So after building the command copy and paste, now the configuration is done. Now we will build it using this command CMake hyphen fm build dot config release and hit enter CL blast library provides you the functions for accelerated mathematics like matrix multiplication etc so it will take 5 to 10 minutes to build depending upon your system I'll be back once it is done so now it has been in uh, build we will go to build release folder and two important file will be generated clblast.dll and clblast.lib just copy those files and uh, we will uh, rename uh, this repository folder name to some other thing because we want to create another folder with the same name that will be used as a uh, clblast compiled library for further work i'm renaming it now create another folder clblast copy clblast.lib and clblast.dll files from the compiled repository and put it here. Now we will create four folders lib 
and put the lib file inside this and we will create another folder bin put the dll file inside this create another folder include and copy all the dot h files from the original repository include folder to this include folder we will now create another folder called cmake inside it we will create the cmake file so that can be used uh, to link with this library while we are building llama.cpp library so just put this text inside .cmake file this is basically just to tell that where are the dot lib and dot in dot h files present in this folder so this uh, uh, this is the current directory path and relative path of the include library and the lib is uh, given here after this we are ready to compile the llama.cpp go to it and cop clone its repository also go to the download folder git clone llama.cpp once it is cloned in, go inside this and again create another directory build to build it cd into it and now run the cmic command to configure this build we need to configure this build to use clblast library that's why we will do clblast uh, option on in this uh, configuration hit enter and uh, now it is failed uh, which is obvious because we have not provided the path to the clblast library and this uh, configuration doesn't know where to find the clblast library so we will do that before that let's go to this build folder of llama cpp and clean it and now we are going to make some changes in the cmic list.txt file inside the llama.cpp to provide the path of the clblast library so search for clblast after one or two click you will find this llama underscore clblast if block inside this add this text include underscore directories and inside this we will provide path of uh, our clblast include directory that we just created so i am going to my clblast library include copy this path and paste it here give a space and it also requires open cl path so we will copy and paste the open cl path also here so this is the include path of your opencl library in my case it is inside the SQL. it may be different for you where depending upon where you install your opencl and uncomment this set for the lib file and provide your own uh, library path so uh, type link underscore libraries and inside this provide your clblast lib path that we created previously copy that and paste it here also provide your opencl.lib path here with uh, some space so it is there in my clipboard already now save it and now we are ready to configure and build uh, our llama.cpp so run the command again Oh, uh, it is again not able to find uh, because there is the if condition which is specifically look for CL blast library uh, so we will provide that uh, explicitly here also so I clean the build folder and now the same thing like uh, the option is on for CL blast and I provided this uh, directory path also of the CL blast library now the configuration is successful I'm going to build now cmake hyphen hyphen build dot hyphen hyphen config release so it will now build our final exes that we will use to run llama models on arc gpus and on integrated gpus 
So we will now copy all the generated EXEs to a different folder. Create a new folder. Let's call it a Llama uh, CPP EXE. First copy the DLL file of the CL Blast library into this folder and also copy all the EXEs that has been generated by compilation of Llama.CPP. So now when you run main hyphen H, it is working. Now we are ready to run the Llama models on our devices using the generated EXEs. So I'm going inside the Llama CPP EXE folder we have, where we have put all the EXEs. I have also opened the task manager to see the activity and there is one important step uh, we need to provide uh, our platform path to the environment variable so that the program can look for it because you have integrated GPU and discrete GPU you need to provide where you want to run it so I have created a simple OpenCL program which tells me what is the name of my uh, platform for iGPU and for uh, the Arc GPU so here it is it may be similar in your system also and uh, I will set this environment variable with the name of my Arc graphics card platform and now I'm running the exe with llama 13 billion model which is 8-bit quantize on arc gpu so provide the path of your llama model with hyphen m provide the prompt with hyphen p what is a silicon chip and uh, there is one very important uh, argument here to run on gpu which is hyphen ngl which means how many layers of this model you want to run on the device so i have put the maximum number that means all the layers uh, which are there in the model will run on this selected device which we have set in the environment variable so now we are running it with hyphen t2 which means i don't want to use much uh, threads of the cpu now you will see uh, model is getting loaded as the disk ac activity is high one and you can see my GPU is already occupied because of this recording software so uh, uh, two things will be running now the model has been loaded and it is providing us really fast predictions you can see uh, the llama model running on our GPU llama 13 B model which is 8 bit quantize is running here and 8-bit is very similar to the full precision model and it has very high accuracy. You can see the speed is also really high. So I'm canceling it now so that I can run some more models here. So now, and you can see discrete uh, GPU activity is high while uh, this model is running. So now let me change this 13B to 7B. I have saved 7 billion models also. I will go and change it and run it again and model is again loading disk activity is high and my gpu my discrete gpu is only running my recording software and now it is predicting this is much more fast than llama 13 b is very fast wow i'm running llama 7b model also and it is really fast Wow, very good. GPU is also not fully utilized. Seems like you can run more models uh, simultaneously. And the CPU is very free, almost free there. Now I am going to change uh, the environment variable so that I can run the model on integrated GPU also. So I'm running my program, copying the platform name for my uh, integrated GPU everybody has uh, integrated GPU if you have uh, uh, most likely you will have it if you have uh, Intel CPU with you so I'm setting the environment variable to select the integrated GPU now I'm running the same command again hmm and this no map uh, uh, command is to just don't uh, use the memory mapping file you load all the model weights into the memory 
uh, instead of uh, reading from disk so it saves a uh, disk activity uh, in my opinion now we can see the discrete uh, gpu is running only my recording software but integrated gpu is this time really high and uh, it is able to run the full uh, 7b model uh, i i'm really surprised that whole model is loaded in the igpu and yeah it is predicting the speed is low but usable with igpu also and the, my cpu is again almost free as you can see so maybe uh, if you run uh, lower precision models all uh, on igpu that will be really fast great now let me run this model on cpu and please please look this message and read it and do what this model is saying you to do it is running on cpu cpu activity is very high i appreciate all of your support and love don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can stay up to date on all my new videos love see you in the next video wow thank you all